guys welcome back to world mechanics thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video guys will be super helpful video to any of you guys any of you that have a vehicle or you have a car except if it's electric vehicle because in today's video we will show you how to test your mass airflow sensor if you guys have a call p0102 guys that's related to mass airflow sensor it could be another few codes as well but we'll show you guys how you can test yours to make sure that it's good bad or if you need to replace it guys and if it's good why to waste your money you can tell that by just using a very cheap scanner guys that will have the link in the description of the video you can check it out for your convenience and also guys we will show you how a dirty sensor okay that's not very responsive could be cleaned guys and how you can save yourself probably a couple hundred bucks instead of buying a new sensor because some of them are super expensive like mercedes bmw the german ones could be uh, could be hundreds hundreds of dollars for original sensor and if you put an aftermarket one they don't always work so stay with us that's what we'll be doing guys uh, and in uh, in addition, we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. Please subscribe to your channel, like the video, and let's start on it now. So we'll be demonstrating on a Mazda, guys, but almost any car will be that way. Uh, somewhere close to the air filter box or on the intake boot that goes to the uh, intake of the car, you will have a sensor, guys. This sensor is your mass airflow sensor. What it does, it detects how much air goes through it. Uh, and it tells the car okay that's how much air it's going now uh, that's how much fuel we need to spray all that stuff and if it's not working guys okay what will happen you'll get a cold or if it's slow working now if guys okay if the, we will explain guys when you can clean the sensor and when you can't but if you can okay use that cleaner mass airflow cleaner guys you can find the link in the description of the video below it says that it improves horsepower 4 to 10 minutes in uh, in just a few minutes guys super easy super easy to do uh, use every time you clean or change the air filter and that's a really really good uh, good thing guys so what we'll be doing now okay on any car guys just you have an OBD port uh, if the car is made after 1996 and that OBD port okay is usually somewhere under the steering wheel ours is like okay right there I'll just go ahead get it in there and now let me show you okay what we'll be doing here we'll get inside guys I'm going to start the car you need to let your car run for at least guys listen now for at least five minutes before you start testing you need to make sure that your your coolant is warm and I will explain how to check all that so the scanner is plugged in we'll select enter here for the OBD connection now it's going to take just a little bit of time now okay to read everything and next okay what we're going to do guys okay your muff will be under any of those two uh, control modules and you may have two three depending but it will be somewhere there guys and it's hard to tell usually it's under the first one but if it's not there check it we'll explain what to look for we'll click uh, read codes okay live data right here under read codes erase codes live data click that now it's going to take a little bit of time it's going to actually uh, connect to all the different sensors of the engine and it's going to give us the data for those sensors so that takes a little bit of time but not much and we'll explain okay what we're looking for in just a second it will be any second now we click view data complete data set and now guys okay we're going to scroll but before we do that watch that's your engine coolant temperature 94 degrees on hour so it's pretty warm and i'll scroll to the next page and i'm going to find mass airflow sensor yours might be on the page after that it really depends guys you have so many settings Muff air mass airflow sensor also known as MAF sensor ours guys with the car warmed up and idling okay that's why i want you guys to warm up your car so the rpms are steady uh, the car is using the same amount of fuel when it idles it uses about okay and don't turn the ac on just no ac on it uses about three grams per second and you can see how it changes better now if the sensor doesn't change at all it's bad guys it means it's not working now let me show you what we'll be looking for i'll click that and it will give us the graph if i rev the car up you will see the value going up the graph going up okay it went to 44 all the way from 295 to 44 and you can see how sharp it climbed. The moment I gave it gas, check the, the, the RPMs now. It just goes up immediately. 
Now, that's a good sensor guys, it's very responsive. Now, if it's slow, let's say I give it gas and it takes just a little bit of time, okay, a little bit of time to communicate guys, what it could be, okay, uh, it could be guys just um, dirty sensor. And you can see in our case, it's instantaneous. Now, it's important when you hold it at certain RPMs to have a steady flow of air. Okay, I'll hold it at 2000 RPMs, check it out now, it will just stay at 7, right there. I'll bring it to 3000 RPMs, it will stay at about 10, 11, pretty steady. So you can see guys, that's definitely a good working uh, MAF sensor. If it's not moving at all, if it's not responsive, it's a bad sensor. If it's slow, okay, it's moving up and down, but it's taking just a little bit of time or half a second more, clean it guys and test it again and that could save you quite quite a bit of money so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time